What's up, family? Well, well, well. Cracker Barrel allegedly has a code word for black people. Oh, dusty looking, uncivilized mutt chick with no teeth in her mouth was being questioned at what looked like a gas station. And she told the person who questioned her that Cracker Barrel has a code word for black people and it's called coo. I don't know what coo is short for. I got my thoughts. Uh, it's like uh, Candace Owens' nickname. But anyway, moving on. Do y'all believe that, first of all? Do you believe that Cracker Barrel has a code word for black folks? Do you believe that they're rocking like that? Another woman who I looked up said that Cracker Barrel's code word for black folks is Canadian. Yeah, she said she used to work there and they would call black folks Canadians. They would get on the radio or they'd walk into the kitchen or whatever, or they walk towards a, a server and say, look, you got the Canadians. You got a table of Canadians. Now, they say that they would use these code words because black people don't tip or just because, you know, they're racist and they want to know who they're dealing with. I guess so that they can handle your food in a nice, special way. So what do I think about this? Well, first of all, I ain't gonna front, fam. I've been to Cracker Barrel many times and I've never had a racist, racist experience. But I'll tell you also that I, I live in Texas and I just don't have these type of issues. I guess because I have a, you know, one of those faces like, you know, like they know, it's like they know their beans from their cornbread, right? I just don't have these type of issues. But I've been to Cracker Barrels all over the country. When I was touring heavily, I would always stop there if there was one in, one in town when I was hungry and I would eat there. The food was relatively good. It wasn't great, but it was you know, pretty decent. You can get like a close, as close to a home cooked meal on the road as you could get, you know, as far as, far as a chain restaurant. Now, this cold thing, I would not be surprised because there are quite a few waiters, people that work in the restaurant business who like to say that black people don't tip. And, you know, I hear, I hear it, but I'm telling you, fam, everybody I rock with, are not, they don't just tip their good tippers. I mean, hell, I just tip the woman Yesterday, over a hundred percent tip, and I had a big bill. So, but I, I, but here's a deal with me. I usually tip moderate, right? Just give you a moderate tip. If you do a little better than normal, you know, I raise it up a little. But if you're like like excellent and you like go out of your way. And, you know, you seem to be very attentive, not over attentive, you know, because sometimes they, they just be popping up every two minutes. Like, hey, he's, hey, hey, calm down, man. Give me a break. Damn. You know, uh, you know, let me look at the second line on the menu. Damn. But if if they're attentive and, you know, it's, it's something that I, that I, you know, that I see in them or whatever. And I think, you know what, I think that person deserves a little bit more. I give them a lot more. And again, all my homies tip well. And you know, when I say homies, I mean all my homies, my, the females and the males. So I really don't get what they, when I when I hear them saying this type of stuff, and you know, maybe, maybe it's just me and my clique, I don't know. But you out there that's in the restaurant world, 
maybe you got a better, better understanding. But here's what I do not understand. How the people who have a problem with black people coming into the restaurants and not tipping or being poor tippers don't have a problem with getting shut down by the establishment, the management who will hold back money, will hold tips and not actually not even pay the waitresses and the waiters the tips, the money that they owe them. We never hear them complaining about that on social media, but they always talking about tip, tip, tip. And plus, let's keep it a buck, fam. Tipping is optional. And I'm going to tell you something. Everybody don't deserve a tip. And you know what? The worst complainers of tips are, those, are the worst waiters and waitresses. That's right. I said it. I said it. The ones who complain the most, just like in society in general, the ones who complain the most do the least. The people, we, you know how there's people, sometimes you can see people that's helping the community or whatever, or people that's putting themselves out there and they're trying to help. You know, they may not be perfect, but they're trying to help. Well, they ain't perfect, but they're trying to help, at least trying to do something. And you always got this person who complains about everything. You know why they don't do anything? Because they're too damn busy complaining. The ones, I promise you, fam, Pay attention to what I'm saying. Think about some of the people that you know complain all the time. What do they do besides complaining? Because here's the thing about complaining. If you think you've been wrong, you have a right to complain. But after you complain, you must do something about it. That's called adulting. That's called being solution oriented. But that's too much like right for some people. They just rather sit back and go, what are you doing? Who? Oh, oh, he, woo, woo. Oh, what's she doing? Oh, she, woo, woo. The people who complain the most do the least. Yeah. The waitresses and the waiters who complain the most about tips, they're the worst, in my opinion, the ones I've seen, at least the ones I've seen. They are the worst waitresses and waiters. Oftentimes, they're the ones who are self-entitled. They don't do nothing. They do the minimum. And they expect to get tipped like They've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Some of you waiters and, and waitresses and former waiters and waitresses know ex and, and, and managers know exactly what I'm talking about. You know somebody who's just like that. Always complaining about tips, but they do the least. Now, that's the thing about tips. Sometimes you can be a great worker. You can work your butt off, work, work your butt off at a table. And somebody may not tip you at all. Or they give you a lousy, just a real shitty tip. You might work a table for a whole two hours and you got 15 people and they leave you something real, real shitty. And so that messes you up. But don't be discouraged because it's a numbers game. Tipping is a numbers game. You know, for that that table burns you or whatever, stick stick around. Keep your, keep your you got to stay in good spirits. All y'all out there that's in the restaurant business, when, they, when you get down and your tips ain't right, when you get down, stay down. Meaning that you continue to work. Continue to have your spirits lifted. Don't allow anybody to steal your joy because that next customer is not responsible for your past experience. You got to shake it off, reset, put your smile on and get on out there and do it again. And if you do it like that, oftentimes you get better results than going to the next table with your moping face and you're all down and, 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 and sounding all discouraged and, and pretty much messing up somebody's experience. Because when people go to restaurants, you know, you know it, they go to restaurants to be catered to. You go to a restaurant and sit down, you're going to be catered to. So you don't want somebody coming up to your table like, yeah, I have you, oh yeah, your bad attitude and stuff already. Your tip going down just like that. You go to go to come to my table with that. Go up to somebody's table with that bad attitude, and already your tip will start. All of they already made up their mind what kind of tip they're gonna give you. And don't be trying to wait till the lat till the check come out, and then all of a sudden you all chipper and happy. You know you all chipper. You you happy? Ah uh, ah uh, uh. No, we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. You ain't gotta work no more. So now you're ready to get the big tip. Nah, keep that same energy. 
I won't tell you how to run your business, but if you're gonna criticize black people for not tipping, you need to keep that same energy and criticize your employer for paying you $2 an hour and got you out here hustling for tips in the first place. No more talk. What the haters talking about?